starting off at number 5 are the DePaul Blue Demons. DePaul earned two NCAA tournament berths in the early 90s, along with finishing being ranked in the top 25 twice. However, the program fell apart in the mid-90s, only to be briefly resurrected by Pat Kennedy, who brought in top recruits and made one NCAA tournament appearance during the 99-2000 season. Next at number 4, the College of Charleston Cougars. The Cougars were led by coach John Crest and dominated the Atlantic Sun Conference and the Southern Conference in the 90s. They had four NCAA tournament appearances and finished the 96-97 season being ranked 16th in the AP poll. When Crest retired in 2002, the Cougars declined and haven't made it back to the tournament. In at number 3, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska's most successful years were in the 90s under coach Danny Nee. During each season from 1990 to 1995, the Cornhuskers were at one time ranked in the AP poll. Nebraska has only made seven NCAA tournament appearances, with five of those appearances coming in the 90s. Since Nee was fired in 2000, the Huskers have only made the tournament once. Next at number two, the Rhode Island Rams. Al Skinner guided the Rams to two NCAA tournament appearances during the 90s. He left in 1997 to coach Boston College. Replacing coach Skinner was Jim Herrick, who propelled the Rams to an Elite Eight appearance and another tournament appearance the following season. Herrick left to become the head coach at Georgia. Consequently, Rhode Island has not made the tournament since, but has been on the bubble a couple of times. Our number one lost basketball program from the 90s, the Massachusetts Minutemen. UMass thrived in the 90s under John Calipari. UMass was one of the best programs in the country during this period. They made seven NCAA tournament appearances, including a Sweet 16, an Elite 8, and a Final Four. They were ranked number one at one point during the 94-95 season and during the 95-96 season. Since the 90s, UMass has only been back to the tournament once.